and welcome to another seed starting video for my 12 week seeds on the Busy Bug Homestead. So today we are going to be starting our brassicas, some of our brassicas. I actually started some of my brassicas already. Um, back behind me here, I have my broccoli, cauliflower, and I think that's it. I just did one variety of broccoli and two varieties of cauliflower. I didn't do a video on those because I was just kind of throwing them in and getting them done. Uh, but I will do a video when I plant them out because I'm going to be planting them under a hoop house with these cabbage I'm about to show you. So what I have going on here is I, I already have some cabbage growing in the garden. I started some cabbage in November and that's currently growing in little tents in my raised beds. These are going in my brassica field, which I did one last year. I'll put a picture up on the screen of my hoop tent from last year and I had good success. The only issue I had was that we got a really warm spring and all of my broccoli bolted. But all the cabbage that I grew did fantastic. I had really large heads of cabbage from the, the uh, flat Dutch flat leaf cabbage, which I've also, I'm doing again, that's outside already. Anyway, so this year, I also got some more varieties of cabbage to try growing. I've got the variety whose name I really can't pronounce, to be completely honest. I'm gonna say it's Violazi, Violagio, I don't know, uh, <laughs> Di Verona. Um, but I really like this variety because it's got the green leaves with the variegated purple in the center. And I thought it'd just be really pretty to try growing. Um, and it had pretty decent reviews for taste. So we're gonna grow that one. I've also got the Red Express cabbage. I grew a red cabbage last year. It was not Red Express, but this one says that it was overpacked due to low germination. So the germination rate is actually 62%. So I'm going to seed this one kind of heavy. And then I have a premium late flat Dutch. Now the one I have growing outside is also a flat Dutch. This one, I don't know if they're gonna be the same, but this one says it's premium. My other packet does not call them premium. So we are going to see how this one compares to the other one that I had that I bought from a local seed shop. All these ones came from Baker Creek. And then, like I mentioned in my first video I did on seed starting, I am going to be starting my anytime stock with my brassicas. So I'm gonna throw some of these into the tray. I'm also winter sowing some. Uh, so I'm hoping to get some beautiful big stock flowers out of this because I've seen the pictures and it's just a beautiful flower. I would really love to have some. So those are the ones we're gonna be starting today. I've got a cell tray already filled with soil, same soil I used in the first video, the blocks of um, starting mix. And I am ready to get going. I am not planting 72 cabbages. <laughs> I am going to do... I'm gonna seed heavy on the Red Express because it's got low germination rate. I'm probably gonna do maybe two rows of each of these ones and then I'll fill the rest of the tray in with stock. So let's get started on that. All right, so this tray, the soil was pre-moistened. I oversaturated the soil, so I let it sit and dry out just a tad bit, um, but I will be watering them in probably from the bottom and the top today because I did let it dry out just a tad bit too much. But what I figured we would do we, we would take two rows of each of these and then the rest would be stock. So I'm gonna do two rows of the premium flat Dutch, two rows of the Verona. I might do three rows of the Red Express because it does say it has a low germination rate. And then I will do the five rows of stock if I have enough seeds in here. I do have a second pack of these so I can grab my second pack if I need to. And of course I got my handy dandy pencil and my watering container is right behind me. So let's start with our premium late flat Dutch. I'm just gonna go in a quarter of an inch. All the cabbage are going to want to be at the same depth. They're a quarter of an inch. So I'm just gonna make my holes all the way down for the quarter of the inch. And one thing I did learn about brassicas last year that I was unaware of is they actually don't mind clay soil. My backyard is a pretty decent, it's not like red clay like you would find down where it's like super stiff clay, uh, but it is a clay soil. And the I guess what happens is the brassicas, they need that stability because they're shallow, shallow rooting. So if they have the clay and any wind comes through, they're a little bit better off. So I did the entire tray at a quarter of an inch because the stock also wants a quarter of an inch. And I'm just gonna go through and just run through this. There's not really much to talk about. The early flat, no, the premium late flat Dutch says it, it averages up to 10 to 15 pound heads. That sounds intriguing and I'm very excited for that because that's more I can store for winter. 
and I am going to be experimenting with pickling them this year and making, my husband wants sauerkraut, so I'm gonna be learning how to make that this year. I actually took some cabbage and I blanched and froze the cabbage and I had cabbage for soups pretty much into November-ish. Uh, I pulled a lot of cabbage out of the garden. Oh, I was only doing two rows. Well, two of these cells, from my memory, are going to be the flat. So I didn't mean to do that. I only wanted two rows of that, but I was talking and not paying attention. I'm gonna tag right in there, cover these up. Cabbage for me has always um, germinated rather quickly. So I expect to see some germination from this pretty quick here. Next, we're gonna be doing the Verona. And I'm gonna be shy on two of my cells for that because I accidentally put the flat light, which is fine. Now, I will be doing this again in the fall, so these seeds are not gonna just be sitting on the shelf. I will be doing a pretty heavy fall harvest or fall planting for cabbage because in the springtime, we get really hot really quickly, so I try not to plant too much of the brassicas. I do like some to kind of refill my pantry, but I try not to go too heavy on the brassicas in the spring. Last year, we went from like beautiful, nice, crisp spring air to all of a sudden it was like in the 90s. <laughs> That is where our first of the Verona is, so I'm just gonna stick it off to the side there. All right, and then we're gonna go with our Red Express here. I'm putting extra seeds in here because it did say it was a pretty low germination rate, 62%. If they all come up, then I will just thin. That's not a big deal. All right, now these last five rows here, these are going to be my stock. I actually need to make a tag for my stock. I'm definitely gonna need to get another pack of them out in just a minute. Do this first row though. These seeds are from last year. I do have a fresh pack. These first couple of seeds that I'm doing, I'm gonna actually do kind of heavier. It's because they are older seeds. Up into this new pack of stock and finish off this row and that'll be it for this tray. So are you growing any of these? Um, leave it in the comments. I'd like to know if you're doing any of the same thing that I am doing this year. I'm pretty excited for this growing season. This is the first year I've decided to try selling. So I'm pretty excited for that. All right, so the rest of these seeds, there's not many, the rest of these seeds are going to go into my winter sewing box, which are going to go outside with me to start winter sewing. Okay, put my tag in here for my anytime mixed stock. That's my one, two, three, four, five rows. Make sure they're all covered over. Pop a dome on, and we're moving it up to our lights. All right, so that is gonna be the end of our cabbage planting seeds. Um, this is going to be where I end my 12-week seeds and start preparing for the 10-week seeds. I do have some that specifically say 10 weeks or that I'm aiming to start at 10 weeks just because I know last year they grew way too fast in this room in the heat. So, those videos will be coming up soon. Uh, this shelf is filling up very quickly behind me. I definitely maybe underestimated the space. I'm gonna definitely probably need to get lights for this side over here. Um, and I definitely need to start utilizing these bottom shelves. But we are going to be moving into the next stage, which is our 10 weeks to last frost. So I hope you will join me for that because those videos will be coming very soon. So thank you so much for stopping by. Bye.